So the industry, the automotive industry is criticized uh, for the environmental impact, of course, because uh, you can see uh, uh, you know, our products around every corner of the street. This is pretty understandable. But on the other hand, we also have to put the things in the context. The personal mobility uh, is 10% of the all overall impact on the environment. It's not a way to you know, escape responsibility. On the contrary, I think the industry is investing a lot. We're really betting on electrification. Uh, it's just to give you a number on the European perimeter, the industry is investing 250 billion euros from now to 2030 to you know, put gigafactories to develop electric cars, etc. So we are engaged into the thing. It's a process that is pretty heavy, it will take time. And we also preach uh, for technological neutrality because we think that we have to have a strategy at, uh, at more than one level because it's a big bet. Electrification is not necessarily the, 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 the only key to uh, uh, sustainable mobility. Every uh, you know, solid regulation in the past has always uh, you know, relied on the principle of technological neutrality, which is exactly what we preach. I think that the main train or uh, the mainstream is going in the direction of electrifying all our cars, like pure, pure EVs. But uh, I think there is still space to reinvent you know, mobility, also with other technology, push forward on the combustion engine, maybe looking at the problem from the fuel sites. So I think that we have, of course, experiments on hydrogen, you know, the e-fuels debate is actually pretty relevant and appropriate for us. So I think that we have to leave our engineers and technicians to find the solution. The authorities, they, the regulator needs to tell us where uh, you know, they want us to go, but not necessarily how, because the how is for us. I think that uh, the issue of decarbonization is for sure a global issue. Okay, so I am you know, in charge of this association that looks at the European perimeter. But in fact, I'm also you know, an executive of a company that has a global span that develops product for the, all over the world. So I think that the good thing about being here is to see that we can kind of comprehend and embrace the whole world because we need a relatively you know, you know, homogeneous standard across the planet to actually mo be more effective. We need a flat world in, in this respect. And uh, I think that this is why you know, I'm very happy to be here because you can engage with people that are coming from uh, other regions. We need that kind of uh, approach.